Hello there folks, my name is Chris. I'm one of the producers here at High Voltage Software. Today I'm going to be playing through the Dragonfront Adventures demo that's currently live on the Steam store. Uh, we're going to be playing through as scales and going through the first region of three on a normal run. Uh, for the full game, we're going to have seven full factions available. Scales, Eclipse, Thorn, Strife, Silence, Essence, and Delirium. Uh, but today yeah, we're going to go with Scales here and we're going to get our run started and see if we can get all the way through on the first go. So let's give it a run, shall we? Within the Scales faction, I'm going to go ahead and choose my good old man Brommel here. Chief Brommel. With this deck, there are a few cards that we can point out here that we're going to be um, having slotted in our deck. First is the Dwarven Enforcer. He's kind of the big heavy hitter of the deck. He's a 3-2 with armor and stun, so he's really one of the heavy hitters doing the hard damage to the enemy banner. Here we have our Grunt Unit, the Warden Battalion. He's really useful if you have other ally Wardens on the field because you'll gain extra health and he'll become a bit more tanky. You'll notice that tankiness is kind of a theme here with the Brommel deck. Brommel himself is a 116 with armor. Armor in this case meaning he will be able to negate one instance of damage completely. So whether it's one damage or 16 damage, he will negate it down to zero and that armor will then go away. Here we have a kind of a smaller version of Brommel here with the Brash Dwarves. They're a 1-1 one, one with armor. Um, armor really comes in handy in the early game, so these guys are fantastic. And then one of my favorite units, the Warden Field Medic. These guys are healers. They can keep your front lines healed up, and they also remove status effects of cards, which you'll see kind of come into play as we play through the run. So let's go ahead and stop talking about it and just go ahead and get started. So with Chief Engineer Brommel here, we are starting out in the Eclipse region, and the goal is to make it all the way through the region, get to the end, and defeat the boss. So we can take a look at our deck. Again, this is a roguelike deck builder, and this is the Brommel starting deck here. So we have a handful of units, and we also have a few spells at our disposal, which I'll explain kind of as we get them as we go through them. So we're going to go ahead and pick our first path here. We're going to choose the skirmish to the left. All right. So here we're going to start out against good old Stygian Skirmisher, and we're going to get this started. So he's a 1-2. What I want to do is take him out immediately. So I'm going to play the Warden Field Medic. She's going to do the two damage to take him out. And then I'm going to have two units behind her that will be able to attack because I'm still on the attack phase here in this first round. So what I'm going to do is play the Brash Dwarves in the second position and Warden Battalion in the last. So this attack, if you hover over the battle button, you'll actually be able to see how much damage I'll do. It'll calculate it all out for me in case I need a reminder. But I'm going to do two damage to the enemy banner. And to beat this round, I need to destroy the enemy banner, take all its health down to zero, and then move on to the next battle. So let's check out the spells really quick to see if there's anything else I want to use. So with charge, what I can do is take Brommel and immediately initiate attack before the battle phase actually starts. And uh, I could do one damage to the skirmisher over there, but I really don't feel like doing that right now. And then military secrets here, draw two cards. If played while defending, any drawn units gain plus one health. So one thing you'll notice about Brommel's deck and scales in general is they really synergize with defensive play. So waiting till you're on your defense phase. So since I'm attacking right now, I'm not going to play this, but you might see me play this when we switch over here. So we're going to go ahead and initiate the battle. Here goes Take him out easy peasy, and then we're going to do two damage here with the Brash Dwarves and the Warden. And now it is the enemy turn to play because it's their attack phase. They have to choose their cards and play them on the field. So technically, whether you're on attack or defense, you get to play cards, but when you're on your attack phase, that's when you actually draw two cards. So... Uh, now you can see in the top right here, they actually have no cards remaining in their hand, so they drew these two cards and then played them immediately. Um, so now we're going to use uh, some of these cards here. So I'm going to show you the charge, because this guy is tanky. We're going to need some extra help to take him out. So I'm going to use the charge. Rally to me! Initiate that battle. And there's that armor I was talking about before. So he did not take one point of damage because of the armor. It blocked it completely, and we softened this guy up a little bit. It's going to take me two guys to take out this first dude. It's going to take my medic, and it's going to take my dwarves. And now here's that military sequence. Because we're on defense, now I'm going to play this. It's going to let me draw two cards, and some good ones indeed. This is actually perfect. So I drew Calculated Strike. Deal one damage to target unit. If played while defending, deal three damage instead. That's perfect. I'm going to take out this guy right now. There it is. And good thing we waited. 
And then with Merc Opportunists, they'll be coming in uh, handy when I'm on my attack phase here. I can examine them actually with right click and it shows one of the strong gems in the game called Union. So this unit gains one power, one power for each other ally unit on the battlefield. So if I lose a unit, I'm definitely gonna replace them with this unit and then uh, she's gonna be powered up, but that will come later. So right now we're gonna be on the defense. So that means that their skirmisher is going to attack first and it's gonna attack my frontline unit and he's gonna get taken out and then the field's gonna be open. Okay, so we drew two cards since we're attacking, but I think we're actually gonna be able to finish this match right here with that Merc Opportunist I was talking about before. So knocking. here that Union came into play. She's got three attack because she gains plus one power for each unit on the field. So now she's at the nice plus three, and we're gonna take out the banner in one shot here. Taking the shot. It's as easy as that. So here we are on the rewards phase. We get plus 10 war script and click through. And then now here's where we get to select our rewards for beating this battle. So on the left, we have a unit from our faction so that scales. In the middle here, we have a unit from the faction that we just defeated, that's Eclipse. And this is actually a fantastic unit, which I'll tell you why. In the third slot here, we have a supply card, which are one-time use cards that are usually really powerful. Um, but basically once you use them once, they're gone. Uh, so we're going to take this amazing Necromancer Initiate. She has a perk called Death Strike, which essentially if she deals damage, she insta-kills the enemy that she's fighting. And she also has a, uh, Agile, which means that I can move her around the board on my side. So I can kind of position her in the right spot. Really good card. All right, so now we've gone through that first battle, and I'm kind of I'm looking through the fog to chart my way through this map here. I can see an inn two um, places away. I kind of want to get to that inn. Inns are where you can pick up missions um, for the game, and they can give you extra rewards if you kind of complete quest uh, guidelines and quest objectives, and you get some uh, cards and relics, and we'll explain that when we get there. Ooh, interesting here. So you'll see a portal just appeared when I navigated to that banner. What's actually happening is I'm entering a portal battle right now. So even though I was in the Eclipse region, I would have expected to be fighting Eclipse, but instead a portal appeared and I was pulled into a Thorns battle. So Thorns is a different faction of the seven factions available. And so now the battle's gonna be completely different. I might've been you know, expecting certain units to be played from the Eclipse side of things, but now I have to kind of react to a whole different set of units. So we got the Feral Arachnus here in the first slot and the Hollow Ranger in the second. So we're just gonna go for this. So at the end of the day, Merc Opportunist is going to be the only one that can take out the 2-2 two -two here. So I'm going to put her there. She's 1-1 one -one right now until Let's I start populating the battlefield again. There and now she charges up with that Union. So now I'm going to be able to take out the Rachnus. And then I will eventually take out the Hell Ranger with both of these guys. Taking the shot. Oh, I actually misplayed that. But it still worked out for me. So the Arachnus can actually respawn a spider when it's killed. So I kind of have to fight two spiders. Um, and that makes it really tough for me. So we now we're in a bit of trouble here. So let's talk through the field here. Uh, two Hollow Rangers, and then he's got the Mutated Mongrel with Rush. And Rush was the perk that powered him up. Rush essentially gives you one, plus one, plus one if it's the first card you play during a turn. And that's permanent for the battle. So he is powered up. And we're going to have to react to this. So now that I'm defending, all three of their units are going to attack, and I need to defend against it without my champion getting eliminated, right? So I might take a bit of damage here, um, so I need to plan this out just right. So what I'm going to do is play him, him, him here. The reason I did that is because this mutated mongrel is going to attack this Brash Dwarves, and because he has armor, he's not going to take any damage. A three would have been really bad against any other unit, but because he has armor, he's going to survive. Strike, quickly! All right, and there we go. So now we're attacking again. We got one of my favorites, Warden Field Medic. And I'm going to plan this out here. Um, I don't think I want to draw two cards yet because I'm not defending. Um, I think I'm actually going to play the Warden. She's not going to die Anybody against hurt? the Hollow Rangers. She's going to take him out. And then actually the Dwarves are going to take uh, the Mongrel out. So it's going to be a decent here turn. No. Deflect! Oh. 
Drink in patience. All right. So now, oh, we're going to get tangled vines here. They're going to take out my medics. So uh, I've got an empty field here. But luckily, I have military secrets, and we're defending, which means I'm going to draw two, and we're going to have plus one health. And we, oh, I got a dastardly combo here. So, uh, one of the warden field medic's effects is to remove um, status effects with the cleanse. And I was talking about this guy earlier. He's one of the heavy hitters of the group. He has something called slow, which means I can't play it until two uh, turns have passed. I want this guy out because he's huge. Um, so what I'm going to do is actually play the Warden Field Medic, Anybody and you'll see it cleanse the Enforcer here, so now I can play him immediately. So I'm going to play him in the second slot. Boom. He's the big boy. Boom. So now when I defend here, their Bark Druid's going to attack, and it's going to get taken out by my medics, and then they're going to have an open field for me. So here we are. Uh, eight health on their banner. I'm actually going to do quite a bit of damage here. So what I'm going to do is start with a charge. Rally to me. Down to seven. I've actually, I pulled my champion ability now. I'm gonna play that. Each champion has their own special ability. Brommel's uh, lets you draw um, from your deck. Sometimes an armor card, and if you don't have an armor card, it draws um, a different card from the deck. So I actually got that really good card I was talking about before. So let's talk through this. Two, three, four, five, six. So close to being able to take out the banner in one shot here, I'm gonna get it down to one health, which is pretty good. Here goes nothing. Like so close, so close. That was a nice big swing, and we're feeling good about it now. We've got a very stacked field here, and uh, I've got a nice calculated strike here, which I'm actually going to take advantage of. All right, so they've got a good field too. So I'm going to have to use this to the best of my advantage here. And so let's talk through the battle order here. Druid Land Warden's going to attack my medics. Spider's going to attack the Enforcer, and I think that actually might spawn a new. Arachnus after that. So what I'm going to do is take my calculated strike and I'm going to actually take out the spider here. And there's that extra spider I was talking about since, since it respawned. And then I think I'm actually going to have a nice battle here. We're going to see how it goes. Take no damage there. And you know what? I can't be too mad about that. All right, so now I'm back on the attack phase. I'm actually going to just play this one out. I'm gonna have her insta-kill of this land warden over here. I gotta love that. We're all, here. all right. So we're gonna use that champ ability again to draw a card. So as for champion abilities, to explain how those work, um, as you're battling through and enemies are uh, dying, it fills up your uh, meter up here. You gain fragments by playing spells, and when a unit with a pro promotion gem is eliminated. So it kind of as the battle is going on, this meter is filling up, and as it fills up to uh, full, you get the champion's ability card. And that is what allows me to use that powerful draw spell I was talking about. All right, so with my hand, we're defending here. One damage left. We're so close. So what I'm going to do is actually just play both of my dwarves. And uh, I think we're going to be able to get through this pretty easy here. And because we're defending, I'm actually going to power this guy up. And that's going to give me Warden Field Medic. Anybody hurt? We're going to defend Hi, pretty well here. And then we should be able to bust through their defenses. Let's see what he's got. Okay. So luckily, he was able to block that damage with the armor, but it still stunned him. So we're going to get this Brash Dwarf's attack, and then Warden's going to finish the job. You love to see it. So 10 war script for me. And then it's time to choose cards. One other thing. Oh, I got some really good cards here. Um, one other thing I can do if I didn't like any of these cards, I can skip here at the bottom and I could just take the war script. War script is the currency used in this game. And that currency is used to buy new cards, buy relics, um, and basically enhance your deck in a handful of ways. Uh, so uh, Apocalypse is a really good card, or excuse me, Quicksand. Apocalypse is the effect. And if I examine this, you can see Apocalypse. When this card is played, discard your whole hand. So it's a strong card, and it has an effect to, to really balance it out. But I get to destroy a target unit with three power or less. It's just a free kill, right? Uh, this is a really good card. I'm actually going to take this one. 